Good morning and uh, welcome back everybody. At least it's morning here and you can still see the woodland workshop behind me or what's left of it. Not left of it. It just looks like kind of a sad lump, little pile of draped material right now because it kind of is, but we're not going to talk about that yet. I'll do another video on that. Anyway, uh, last video I did woodland workshop, put tarp on and I used this rope right here. Pretty long rope. I like having it around. I think this has been, I don't even know where I got it. It's just basic hardware store rope. But it's a long piece of it. So now i got to put that away because if I don't, it's just going to, I'm not going to have it. It's just going to end up getting kicked around and beat up. And then when I need it, it's a nasty jumble. So I not only want to put it away, but I want to put it away in an orderly fashion. A couple of ways you can do that. You can wind it up, which if you look in the video, I unwound it because that was how I had it. The other way is something called daisy chaining. And that's what I'm going to talk about today is how to daisy chain your rope. Now the long rope like this, I like to double it over. So I'm going to take the two ends, go through the entire rope so that I have an even amount of rope. Pardon me while I just sort of spread this aside so it doesn't get tangled. All right, here's our midpoint. From here, we're gonna make a loop. I'm gonna come around, go to the other side, and I'm gonna pull another loop through. All right, so now I've got a loop inside my loop. I'm gonna take this, and I'm going to pull another loop through. So I'm gonna reach through here, and I'm going to pull another loop through and I'm going to reach through here and I'm going to pull another loop through until I get through the entire thing and what I'm left with is what looks like a chain thus you know daisy chain um, <clears throat> this is a great way to keep a rope uh, to, to shorten the rope up and or at least the the stored length of it you don't actually shorten the rope any, obviously. Um, but uh, it's a great way to keep a rope organized when you store it. The cool thing is, when I'm done, my last one, I'm going to pull this all the way through. And so then when I need this rope next, all I have to do is I'm going to undo this first link where I pulled it all the way through. And then I just pull and the whole thing comes undone, which is why you don't actually want to do these too tight. You want to leave these links a little loose. And then you pull that out, and now your rope is free and ready to use. All right, Till next time, get out there, do cool stuff, and most importantly, y'all take care of each other, all right?